Fact of the day. Fact of the day. Hello, hi, and welcome to Fact of the Day with me, Mark Lossie. How many different types of ice are there? Ice is ice, right? There's only one type of ice. No, times that by about 18, at least 18, or at least 18 different types of ice, as in water to ice. Yes, there is. Now, the one we know is at zero degrees Celsius, the water molecules form hexagonal shapes as they freeze and they're locked in place in ice. Water molecules made up of a single oxygen and two hydrogens, but the oxygen also has two spare pairs of electrons. And these electrons are on the other side of the oxygen, basically to the hydrogen, and they all kind of want to spread themselves out a bit. So this means that the water molecule itself is a tetrahedron with the oxygen in the middle. The hydrogen atoms can be attracted to the electrons on other water molecules, and they form what's called a hydrogen bond. And the electrons on this water molecule don't want to go near electrons and other water molecules. So basically think of all of these different atoms and the electrons and the molecules jostling, moving around, trying to get as stable as possible. So of the 18, the one that we have, which is the hexagonal ice, it's called ice one, because it's the first one. You've got cubic ice, which is up in the clouds as well. Cubic ice, that's a new one, it's not. It's still the same hexagonal shaped ice molecules from that we find in ice one, so that's still just ice one. Of the others, most of those have been produced either in a lab or in a computer simulation. They're in what's called a metastable state, which means that at certain temperatures, at certain pressures, that determines if a substance is going to be solid, liquid or gas. And also determines how quickly something freezes or something melts. So for all of these different forms of ice, they are at different temperatures and at different pressures, which are either being tested in a lab, but because we're on Earth, we have to simulate those temperatures and pressures, or it's been done on a computer model. So the other forms of ice, the other 17 plus forms of ice are thought to be elsewhere in the universe. The most common form of ice in the entire universe that we think is, is called amorphous ice. And it's formed when the water molecules cool so quickly they don't actually have time to form a crystalline structure. They just form this amorphous blob of ice. They also recently found a form called aero ice, which is the least dense form of water, solid water, in existence we know of and it's only stable at temperatures close to zero degrees kelvin my favorite form of ice is super ionic ice and it's found on the ice rich planets and exoplanets like uranus and neptune and it's a crystalline structure of oxygen atoms and then going and whizzing around these moving throughout these are the hydrogen atoms so it's a solid oxygen structure with the hydrogen moving around just like in a metal where you have the metal ions and you have the electrons moving around that's what it is it's super ionic ice by far the best ever. So next time someone asks you if you want ice in your drink, maybe ask them what different types of ice they have. That is, how many different types of ice are there? Thank you for watching, love you, bye, love you, bye. Love you, bye.